This short video is going to show you how to create a class in your Gizmos account. So this would mean that you already have a Gizmos account created and you visited explorelearning.com and you went in ahead and signed in with your Gizmos account. Um, to create a new account all, or class, all you would do is on your home page, you'll see my classes if you don't see that as your home page, your My Classes tab is up here at the top. Click Add a New Class. Give it a tab name. So this would be the short name. Um, one. Give it a full name. Click Add Class, and that's it. Um, from there, you would get into the more hefty stuff of adding Gizmos to your class, organizing, and Gizmos is built with wonderful help topics. Right down the side, they try to anticipate what you might want to do next. In order to get your students in that class, and because that's the big thing, students can't access it unless if they have accounts set up, you would give them this class enrollment code. And you can either put it in a student handout or just put it up on your board. That's what your students will need. Um, so now I'm going to pretend that I am a student. I need this code here. I'm going to sign out of my account. So as a teacher, I've done the setup. I sign out of my account. And this time, as a student, when I visit the Explore Learning, homepage, I go up here to the button that says Login Enroll, and I just type in this class code. And I click Enroll in Class. It is going to then let me do one of two things. I can connect to an account I have already have, and maybe I have that account from last year. That's absolutely fine. Or you can have students create a new account. Um, know that while the students can choose any username and password that they would like, um, what would probably be easiest is to recommend the students to choose um, their same district username and password or something that they are going to remember um, so that you don't deal with that issue. So that's the case um, for that and then you'll see the students there. Make sure you do direct them to use their correct name and not a nickname that you um, can't relate to the student. For students, um, if they have created their account, they can actually use their Clever Portal and they can save the credentials right in their Clever Portal so it will automatically sign them in each time they click that Explore Learning or Gizmos button on their portal.